the coffee bean. From its earliest record in 15th century Yemen, it has been known as a delicacy and by some as a blessing from the Almighty. In America, the desire for the deliciously roasted and brewed drink was catapulted to historic heights during the- Aaron, what the heck are you doing? I'm in the middle of my monologue. This is the only owl that I could find. All right, now that I've got my caffeine and I'm ready to go, let's talk about the fantastic month of January. January, first month of the year, but we know it around Spirit Juice as the pro-life month. And the reason for that is because uh, primarily the March for Life, it's the anniversary of Roe v. Wade. And so uh, the March for Life in DC happens, but also the March for Life Chicago happens. And we have a huge presence there at the March for Life Chicago. Um, I still remember years ago, the March for Life Chicago still has the record for me of being the coldest that I've ever been. It was negative temperatures plus wind chill. We're standing out there for hours on the concrete in the middle of the city. To the Himalayas! But we always love partnering with the March for Life Chicago because of how well run the event is and how many people in our home city here are able to get out and support the right to life. Uh, and so we help in a variety of ways. We handle the photography for the event, taking pictures before and often delivering photos for press day of. Um, we also handle all the feed going to the Jumbotrons. We also take that feed and then send it out on Facebook and then usually it's about a week later, sometimes two weeks later, we head out to DC. And we've been doing this for years. I remember going when I was growing up. Oh man, that was just the worst drive you can imagine. It's like on a bus, cramped in. It was never very comfortable. I've attended the March for Life a lot, and then I, I've gotten to work at the March for Life. Um, and that means capturing the event, being able to create videos for really a range of our clients, everyone from the March for Life itself, because we do a lot of the promo videos for the March and some of the recap stuff, but also for the Knights of Columbus, for the Susan B. Anthony list. And really, it's been great to see the way that it's grown over the years. You know, I, I wasn't there, I'm not old enough to have been there when it first started, but I hope that I'll live to see the day when it's no longer necessary, when it does end, because we live in a pro-life nation. But until that time, we'll be there every single year, cameras on the ground, promoting the pro-life message. And now while we film the March for Life every single year, a group that we don't always get to work with, but really enjoyed working with, are the Dominican Sisters of Hawthorne. Now they're based out of New York. Their charism is to focus on caring for those at the end of their life, those who are sickly. And we were able to work with them over the past couple months on a fundraising video to promote the, the work that they do, all of this care. And as we were going through this piece uh, in pre-production, as we were thinking through the best way of conveying their message and telling their story, we realized that kind of the traditional approach might not be the best for this. That trying something new and unique that, that would actually be more catered to what they do might actually be more impactful to those watching the video. So we didn't film the interviews on camera, we actually just used an audio recorder. We have no footage of the interviews. What we ended up doing was piecing together this montage of the work that the sisters are doing, this, this care that they're giving. You're seeing these patients and you're seeing the sisters work with them. And hearing the message from the sisters while you're seeing this footage is such it's such a dramatic view of what they're doing. And because we put the focus of the video in, in this particular way of seeing the faces of those they're helping, we kept the focus on, on really what the goal of the video is, to show forth the care that they're providing, to, to show their charism and, and the fact that they are caring for these people at end of life. So I think it, in the end, it made a, a much more powerful video and it really kept the focus where it should have been. But now shifting focus a little bit here, we also worked on some other fundraising videos at the same time. We didn't take quite the traditional approach. We also didn't take this new approach that we had with the Sisters of Hawthorne. Because we've been doing this for so long, we've realized that you know there are, there are different ways to be able to convey the message in a very meaningful way. And so when we were working these past couple months with the Diocese of Joliet, we decided to focus on 
maybe not telling the whole um, you know story com condensed the whole thing that they do, all of the, the different things that the money's going to in one video, but to spread it out over a lot of different videos, all the different ministries that the appeal is going to support. And so hearing their stories and the ways that the ministries have impacted them, including the ministry that Father Burke Masters, who is the uh, Chicago Cubs chaplain was part of. Now granted, I'm, I'm gonna get in trouble for saying this, but I'm a Cardinals fan in Chicago. <laughs> but um, still love Father Burke Masters, so happy to support his ministry by working on these videos. And so as we were piecing these together, we're able to, to tell the stories in a way that viewers are able to take in and realize the difference that their donation is going to give. And really that's the whole point of, of a, an appeal video, right? Is to be able to touch the viewer and be able to show them what good their money is doing. And now many of you know that we will stop at nothing to forward the church, to promote the faith, but how do you do that day in and day out when it just gets exhausting? You know, you lose momentum sometimes. Well, there's prayer for one thing. I mean, prayer is very important. We, we certainly do that every day here too, but also there's caffeine and coffee in particular, because after all, coffee is our spirit juice. <laughs> so if you, yeah, was that good? Was that good? Yeah, yeah. All right. And so, because coffee is our spirit juice, we have created our very own spirit juice coffee. The Blessed James Alberioni Blend Coffee in partnership with St. Mary's Coffee, a local Chicago Catholic uh, coffee roaster. We have worked with them for a long time to kind of create this great medium blend of coffee um, that we are proud of and that we hope you enjoy too. Uh, you know, it starts with a Mexican bean, the stability of a Mexican bean that kind of gives it just that consistency. But then we add in a Colombian bean to bring out a little bit of that acidity, make it, you know, a little more textured, give it some life. And then we also add in an Ethiopian bean, which provides some, some fruity notes there, it gives it a little bit more complexity too. And with this combination, we not only have something that's, that's consistent, something something that we can replicate over and over again, but something that's unique, something that stands out. So working with St. Mary's Coffee out of uh, Chicago, uh, their ministry, part of it, is to support local Chicago Catholic churches, preserving those churches for future generations. But also for us, this coffee provides a way for you to be involved and, and support our ministry, which is providing Catholic content for free to as many people as possible, to promote the faith through media, to create this high quality original content that we've been you know, working on day in and day out. So head over to our online store, it's spiritjuice.shop once again. Pick up some coffee, brew the coffee, drink the coffee, drink it alongside some spirit juice videos in the morning. And until next month, February, the coldest month at least, this will provide a little bit of warmth. We'll see you then. And so in this particular, some of these, um, uh, their homes and, and the, the um, and then we also add in, Ethiopia. Thank you. What did I say?